statewide advisory committee with business and industry leaders, students, educators, and military personnel. Dr. Mack has continued to advance career tech's mission while experiencing statewide economic challenges by partnering with various entities to meet the needs of the Oklahoma workforce. Dr. Mack continues her passion for career tech through building partnerships with business and industry, engaging nationally to represent Oklahoma career tech, and continually advocating for students. She was honored by Advanced CTE as the recipient of the 2017 Star of Education Rising Star Award. This award is presented to a, a state career tech director who displays unequivocal commitment to the goals and overall mission of Advanced CTE. Dr. Mack earned her doctorate in Educational Administration and Leadership from Oklahoma State University, where she also completed her master's degree in Telecommunications Management and Bachelor of Science degree in Education. Dr. Mack and her husband, Curtis, have three children and reside on a farm outside of German. We're happy to have Dr. Mack here with us to present your welcome to you. Dr. Mack? Well, good morning, everyone. It's great to see you. Uh, everybody has that special Zoom glow about them that we all get to share and we'll share for uh, a period of time. But thank you, Carrie and the BMIC team. I know Christy said that you would be hearing that um, acronym throughout the day. So I have to admit when uh, business and information technology is the division that I was a part of, it's the uh, opportunity that when I was in the classroom, that was the division that was near and dear to my heart, but we were called something different then. Um, and and uh, probably Carrie's like, oh, please don't, don't say that. But uh, during that time period, we called ourselves Bite Me for Business Information Technology Education and Marketing Education. So um, we, we all evolved with the time and uh, very honored to be able to take a few minutes this morning to welcome you to the Career Tech System. Uh, welcome you, uh, many of you may have already been in education and now are in a career and technology education program. So as, as you take on the challenge of this year, uh, one of the things that uh, we have a lot of moving parts this year, very unprecedented. Uh, one day we have a particular outline and direction and then things can change in a very timely manner. And for current technology education, that's kind of, that is in our blood. Uh, so we are able to be flexible. We're able to adapt as things change. So I foresee career and technology education being able to step up to the challenge, no matter what may be thrown our way, and deliver for a quality workforce and for your students. So uh, thank you very much for taking on the challenge of being an educator. Um, and as you go through uh, each of your days, you have a great team, and I'm sure you'll get to meet all of them today uh, if you haven't already as you kicked off this morning. But know that they are here to support you as well as myself and our team here at the agency are here to support you. Uh, we want to celebrate in those days when you have uh, those wonderful days where things are all going great. Uh, your students, you can see uh, the progress that they're making. Uh, we would love to be able to capture that and tell your success stories. We also want to be with you on those days when you go, and I chose to be in education and face this every day. We want to be there for you in that too, because we have all had those moments ourselves and want you to know that you're not in this alone. So as you go through, whether it's preparing your students for a competition or whether you're just trying to figure out maybe some of the classroom management pieces that go with the time periods that we're in, we're here for you and making sure that, that we can make your education, your classroom, the things that you're doing, making sure that, that we're here for you and being able to provide resources, being able to um, provide things that you may need. So um, thank you so much for your dedication to education. Uh, know uh, that you, as you go through each day, you may not um, automatically have that realization of the definite impact and positive that you will have on your students' lives, but know that, that you are making a difference each day for them, not only with what they're getting in education, but what will carry with them uh, into the workplace and being able for them to meet their goals that they have in their lives. So you are making that difference. Uh, you are providing those touch points for students 
and we are greatly appreciative of that. Um, if there is a little bit of time, Carrie, I would love to open it up for any questions. If they have questions when we do this in person, I always do that. So we're going to try and make this as real as possible uh, anytime that we can. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, I have one. Oh, Thomas, yes. It's going to seem like a very silly question, but uh, I'm the information technology teacher at Putnam Heights. Am I classified under Decker or BPA? So if you are in, um, I'm guessing that you would be business professionals, uh, BPA, uh, on your curriculum outline that you have. Um, if, if I understood what your curriculum was, you would be BPA. Okay, gotcha. Perfect. Thank okay. you so much. Yay, it's a question I can answer. Yes, awesome. <laughs> Off to a good day. I probably should stop getting questions now. So, Other questions that you may have. Challenges that you foresee that we may not have the answer for today, but we need to make sure that we're, we're thinking about how we can help make those connections. Challenges that you see. I have one. Good morning. Uh, good morning. My question is with everything that's going on uh, with the virus, uh, obviously that's going to impact all of our school sites, but as far as like BPA meetings and getting business professionals to come in, I mean, I, I think that would be highly discouraged at this time. So even trying to make a plan for the school year, I mean, how do we adjust for that? So for uh, the business, bringing business professionals into your classroom or participating in BPA or both? Both. I mean, because we're supposed okay. to have monthly so, meetings. Yeah. Great question, and thank you for that. We have, um, and the team, all of our Career Tech student organizations, all seven of them, have already made plans that we will have. Uh, we met the last week of June. <laughs> if there is an opportunity for small groups to come together, we will have that option, but they have already planned all of the activities, various things that we've done in the past for that to have a virtual platform. So Paxton is already on that and has have plans in place so that the students are not missing out on that opportunity. Yes, it's gonna look and feel a little bit different, but we're still gonna have that opportunity to connect our students, provide them uh, the opportunity to engage with each other, and so we've already determined that all of our career tech student organizations, until we get to that place um, where uh, we have an opportunity to come together in large groups in a very safe and secure manner, that virtual will be an option. So that we're not gonna put everything on hold. We still wanna connect our students, but we're gonna do it in a little bit different way. Um, and now bringing business professionals into your classroom, we do have an opportunity we are hopefully in the next week or two getting ready to launch a virtual job shadow, which it would allow for the opportunity for school districts to engage uh, different professionals through this platform that they will be able to bring them into their classroom. We also have individuals through OK Career Guide and our Connect to Business. We have businesses already that have volunteered to connect with classrooms. If there are specific needs that you have or you want a professional to come in and do a particular professional development or just talk about their career goals, things like that, we can help to facilitate that. In the virtual world, we can offer the opportunity to record that individual. We have a studio here in Stillwater, so we have an opportunity. We can bring them in, record them, provide it to you in that professional format. Or we also have the opportunity, we can connect them to your classroom via Zoom or whatever tool that you may be utilizing in your classroom or outside connection. So there are options out there. Um, and so if you run into a challenge or you have some great ideas of things that you want to integrate into your curriculum so your students aren't missing out, let us know what those are. And then we can help facilitate to bring that to reality for you in your classroom. Okay. Great question. And then I got a, I got a second question. Okay, uh, last year was our first year starting our chapter at our school uh, and recruiting kids was a little difficult last year. Now with this going on and the idea of them participating, uh, any recruiting tips 
of how to get kids to buy in? <laughs> so one of the things, one of the areas uh, with one of our other Protect student organizations, uh, potentially this was going to give them an opportunity to recruit in a larger format than what they have in the past. So they're going to utilize the virtual piece to be able to connect to more students because it's out there and available. They didn't have to get a specific time to pull people out of class or go around and those things. So they're going to take this challenge of recruitment and then go on, uh, some of them are calling it a virtual tour. So they're going to provide whatever the platform may be or being offered by the school. If you were at a district that has multiple opportunities, maybe you're using Canvas or you're using Blackboard, in the announcements area of those particular virtual platforms, they're going to put information and continue to educate people about uh, the Career Tech student organization. So if you need any help with that space, if you have a digital platform or a virtual platform that you're utilizing at your school, uh, we can um, help get that uh, virtual push out there. Can recruit individuals into. And let business. me just let me just add too that the Paxton is going to cover all of the CTSO, the BPA, and DECA information, and she's going to have some great ideas to share with you. And you're going to be pleased with some of the the ideas that she's implementing for you in this virtual environment. So I think I think you're going to get a lot of those questions answered uh, later. Thank you. I've, those are great questions, and that's as I said earlier, Paxton is is ahead of the curve and making that happen and be able to provide you some options and if you have other ideas uh, please let us know not only uh, your ideas may be great for us to use within uh, DECA and BPA but we share across all of our seven uh, Curtech student organizations to make sure during this time period that we're still providing students those leadership opportunities and the opportunities to engage in teamwork and, and moving forward so any uh, other questions Yes, I have a I have a question, Marcy. After the, how how are you doing this morning? Good, good. And hi to all the people. Wesley's questions were excellent. Um, after the experience of distance learning in the spring, uh, the biggest challenge that I I'm sure I face is how to engage the kids uh, in distance learning this fall. Uh, it was so hard and and really not very uh, successful in the spring. And I, I just don't want to waste another another semester with these kids. Uh, I, I couldn't agree with you more, Bill. It was very challenging. One minute you have all your students, and the next thing we know, spring break is the longest recorded spring break that we've ever had. Um, and I hope we never have one of those long recorded spring breaks again. I'm not sure about you, but I could do without another one in, in, uh, for a very long time. Even when my kids said that they didn't want, they wanted to go back, I knew that, uh, that this wasn't good. Um, I think some of the things that we could capture and learn from you guys, what were some of your largest challenges that you had? And then um, we, we can work with you to help find some of those solutions. We are currently at a state level trying to launch some tools that individuals, some of the gaps that they've indicated in their classrooms that they've had. And so on a statewide basis, we're trying to launch those tools because if a local school district may not have the resources or funds or a staff to be able to stand that up, we wanna be able to do that for you from the state and provide that to you at no cost so that we can help you have um, that classroom um, experience for not only for your students, but also for you as a teacher. We do not want, we want to try to alleviate the, those frustrating mo moments as much, much as possible. And so any ideas that you have, I know we did some tests this summer with some teacher groups uh, to where uh, they, we had to go in about a week all virtual for some of the professional development that we were doing. So we outlined uh, specific kits. So we provided kits, uh, different ways that they could have simulation that was actually the hands-on piece. Uh, again, not ideal to being in your classroom and potentially building that network, um, those particular things. Uh, but we have um, some companies who are helping us with that. So we have some options out there that we did not have in that short time period in, in March and April and just trying to figure out uh, what each day would look like. 
So those challenges that you have, if you can bring those to our attention, um, we will work to find solutions with you. And it may look a little bit different for each school because each of you have different uh, students, you have different needs, but please let us know what those are so that we can address them and, and help you to find solutions. So it, it won't be a cookie cutter approach. I, I don't believe in that a cookie cutter approach across the board is gonna meet all your classroom needs because every student's different and each of you have your own uh, special way of reaching your students and connecting with them and managing that classroom. So we wanna be able to, that we're providing customized tools for you to be able to be successful. Excellent, thank you. You're welcome. Um, we have a question in the chat in, um, about some, some biggest concerns, different things like that. And I know the team is probably going to address these uh, if they do not have internet capability um, or access, uh, how do we engage the student and what does that look like? Um, those are some of the substantial challenges that we have. One of the things, if they do not have internet capability, uh, we do have some companies that are working with us to be able to provide students hotspots, uh, to be able to provide them the technology that they need. To, to help them connect if that is their only, um, if they do not have those resources. So if that is uh, something specifically in your area, if you can let us know. I know uh, we currently have a few grants that we have put in with the um, USDA and it is about connectivity um, in specific areas. So if we know there's a challenge in your area for connectivity, uh, we can help to address that on a statewide level. Um, and if it is just specific to students and needs that they have, there have been some funds uh, set aside from the CARES Act that will allow for um, families uh, within school districts to apply for technology grants. Um, and basically they can get a certain dollar amount that will help them, whether it be a hotspot connectivity in their home, uh, whether it would be a Chromebook or something like that. So if they are transitioned to um, have to, where, it, where they need to do learning, we have an opportunity potentially that we can help them connect. Uh, Video-based libraries, oh, great, great information. Uh, we can do some re research and give you some examples on video-based libraries for photo editing. Um, Students, uh, YouTube is their friend. <laughs> uh, we know in those particular areas, we have put together some libraries and made some of our own on our Career Tech YouTube channel. Um, so as you have these particular pieces, we also have the availability that we can capture you teaching um, and how you do it in your um, excellent manner, that we can capture that and put it on our YouTube channel. Uh, each of the divisions are working to launch their own YouTube channel so that it'd be there that individuals could share. And so um, we can help out with that part as well. But thank you guys very much for all your great questions. Um, I just wanna reiterate that we are here to help you um, as you maneuver through ever-changing times. Um, and I know, and I thank you for your patience. Uh, we may have guidance one day and then things change and so that guidance changes. So I thank you for your patience as, as we all work through this together and know that we're here to support you. So with that, Carrie I, uh, and Christy, I will turn it back over to you. I know uh, Corey is on here as well. Um, and so thank you guys for everything. I'm going to uh, travel to my next meeting. I've got about three minutes. My travel time is, I mean, I can schedule them right next to each other. It's just a point and click away. So um, thank you for the opportunity to speak with you this morning and happy to help out uh, as you go through this school year. Thank, thank you, you Marcy. for joining us. Thank you. You guys have a great day. You too. Corey, would you, would you like to say a few words? Corey, Corey Gray, she's actually going to be welcoming us tomorrow, but she, since she's on here today, she may want to say a couple of words. Corey still on? She's muted, so if she's talking, we can't hear her. I'm, oh. 
<laughs> no, I am working. There I am. I'm working in my office for the first time in 15 days. And so my computer is having a life of its own. I just wanted to say good morning and see everyone. I will give my official welcome tomorrow. And um, just to let everyone know, in August of 2000, I started my very first job with Career Tech. I interviewed in July. They told me to report to August Conference, because that's what we called it back then, before it was Summer Conference. And I was sitting in the same spot. So I'm a former marketing teacher, and I can't wait to share my story. And I'm so happy you all are here this morning. So thank you. Thanks for joining us, Corey. It's good to see you. I'll yield from down the hall when I, if I see you later. OK, sounds great. Thank you. Um, we do have a video to introduce you to um, Career Tech. It's called This Is Career Tech. It's on our YouTube channel. But Paxton is going to play that for us now. We're hoping that everything works as it's supposed to. I came to the Francis Tuttle BSMA Academy because I have a passion for medicine and science and it's always been a huge part of my life. I love the class. You know, I come in every day and Mr. Moss is just such a great teacher and we have a lot of fun and he just genuinely enjoys being here every day and that is very infectious. There are different ways to go about this as long as you understand what are the key concepts. What excites me the most is how I can come here every day and focus on what I really want to do. And it's just know more about medicine and how things work and how to put things together. At our home high school, um, we don't get to do things like this. We have big labs that we can do. We go to, on fantastic field trips. And the teachers just genuinely enjoy um, teaching us and helping us learn new things every day. A high school diploma just isn't enough. In Oklahoma, Oklahoma Career Tech has the opportunity to help you with that next step. If you want to go to college, we have programs that prepare you to excel in college. If you want to jump into the workforce, we will train and certify you for a lifelong lucrative career. If you are already years or decades into a career, we can enhance the skill set you have, making you a better employee. And if you get off track, go down the wrong path, we can provide you with the life skills and the certifications to get you back on a career path. So in 1917, President Woodrow Wilson signed the Smith-Hughes Act, and later that week, the Oklahoma legislature signed on. This act provided our state with matching federal funds for vocational education. The whole idea was to promote agriculture, industry, and the trades. Additionally, it provided funding for the training of educators in the subjects of vocational education. By the 1930s, Oklahoma A&M became the state's leading source of vocational educators, and the state vocational offices were moved to Stillwater to be near the supply of teachers. Kids get really excited about just doing something different, and that's what we provide, just something different in doing rather than just sitting. I've even had kids say, this is the best decision I made all year was to come. Because we do more than just look out of a book, um, it's not exactly confusing for them. They don't have to really struggle to understand. It's more of a life experience. Greenhouse and fish farm, fueled by big it's a different approach to reading or math or science because it's more hands-on. And it's also something that prepares them for a career. If you are a salesperson selling big ticket items, whether it be a piece of equipment, machinery, whatever, you're not going to have the opportunity to go to 12 places because why? Well, this is my deck class. We learn like marketing and managing and finance and all kinds of the things that go with that. Look on that map. Obviously at school we learn a lot of different stuff like math and science and stuff, but this class like it really just like highlights what you can actually have like as a job in your real life. Students that I have two, three years, 
they learn the marketing, the management, entrepreneurship. And it is challenging. It's applying everything that they learn in those AP classes into the real world of my classroom. So they're seeing the pieces put together in a puzzle, which is what Career Tech is all about. We are providing these real world experiences. We are in every single high school. We've gone down into the middle school and junior high level. Um, we've offered Tech Ed. We offer Facts Ed. But all the other courses they've taken along the way benefit them in every one of our Career Tech programs in the state of Oklahoma. The big thing for us was the National Vocational Education Act in 1963, and that's where we came up with the concept area vocational technical schools. Uh, that kind of came as a result of Sputnik. Actually, in 1957, the, the, the world was kind of set on it, at least the free world was set on its end because we felt like, you know, the Soviets were, were ahead of us, and uh, we asked questions, are we the, you know, do they have a better ed educational system than we do? Do they have a better political system, a better economic system? And so we uh, kind of rushed to uh, get the machinery that it took to get to space, and in the process of that realized we didn't have enough technicians and that the high schools and community colleges couldn't afford to, to provide the training and the equipment and the, and the infrastructure to be able to do that. So um, under the Kennedy administration, they passed an act that provided matching funds to the states, but this time for the uh, creation of area vocational technical schools, what today we call technology centers. Compared to my regular classes, I'm not sitting in a classroom all day. Like out here at Career Tech, I'm out in the shop, I'm up, I'm moving, I'm getting my hands dirty, I'm doing what I like. What do you think? What size is that? Here, you learn from tearing down an engine and breaking it down and doing brakes and all of that. So, and that pays pretty good money. Working in here, they don't treat me like I'm a female. They treat me like I'm one of the guys. And I really appreciate that because I don't like being treated differently. I want to be treated like I'm one of them. Career Tech has had a huge impact on on the business climate within Oklahoma. As opposed to a K-1 Exactly. We are providing training for businesses that are looking to move into Oklahoma and have that Oklahoma presence and providing the training to have individuals trained for their workforce and also businesses that are currently in Oklahoma. We want to keep those businesses in the state of Oklahoma and as they try to expand, we provide the training that they need for their employees to have in order to be able to expand their operations. I gotta tell you, you don't stay in business over 100 years by accident. We've had to continually be innovative and embrace technology. And in order to do that, we have to have the employees that can operate that technology. So Career Tech is our number one choice when we think about trying to find students that can operate this equipment and to upskill the existing employees that we have with the skills required. In 1971, Oklahoma Department of Career Tech partnered with the Department of Corrections, where we decided to start training inmates and sending them home with skills. Okay, well, we tried, you guys. That didn't quite work like we'd like. I think Paxton is gonna go ahead and put the link to that video in the chat box. Um, it's a fantastic video if you get to watch it the way it's supposed to be done. <laughs> um, so that way it'll give you an idea of how career tech works, how you fit in with career tech. Career tech is an amazing organization um, that provides great resources for our students and for you to share with your students. So we're going to go ahead and kind of move on. Um, I hope you can see our pictures on the big screen. Are you able to see that? I need a head nod or something. Yes. Okay, great. We are moving right along then. Well, this is our little BMITE family. And we are here to help you. So as you get through the year and you have questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. And um, this, you have already seen Carrie DeMuth. She is our BMITE State Program Administrator. Jacqueline Arnold, she is our Region 2 Program Specialist. She is over the Business Management and Administration Cluster Team Leader. 
Kathy McNabb. She is Region 3 Program Specialist. She's our Marketing and Finance Cluster Team Leader. And I'm Christy. I don't think I introduced myself in the very beginning. We talked about this yesterday. Christy, you need to introduce yourself. I don't think I did. So sorry about that, you guys. You've just been listening to some crazy person. Um, I am the Region 4 Program Specialist. I'm the IT Cluster Team Leader. And this is Pamela Porter. You probably already recognize Pamela's name. She is our BMIT Administrative Assistant. And she is the name that will pop up often on your computer screen with emails. Um, anytime you see an email from Pamela, please pay attention. You might even create a little folder for your emails because you might, maybe one for Monday Madness. Monday Madness is our communication that you will get weekly. So when you, um, maybe get back in your classroom if you've already started developing your email lists or folders, make a, a Pamela Porter folder and start throwing emails in there so you know as soon as you have time, those are the first emails to read. Paxton Caven. Paxton is our Oklahoma BPA State Advisor and our Oklahoma DECA State Association Advisor. You're gonna hear from Paxton later today with details about BPA and DECA. Now this PowerPoint will be available on our CTU Teacher Academy Resources page. So you will have access to all of these email addresses and phone numbers. Now these are our regions. You may already know what region you're in. I know for me, as when I was teaching, it changed a couple of times. So I, I wasn't sure for a long time. So um, I am in the gold. This is my region. Carrie is in the red. And we have Jackie in the green and Kathy in the blue. Now let's talk about Lori Richardson. She is our teacher certification specialist. If you do not have the career tech business education or the marketing endorsement on your certificate, Lori can help you work through that process and to simplify what all you need to accomplish that task. So there's her email address and phone number. In CTU, there's also more information. Um, she has provided her own PowerPoint. So if you do have questions, you might check in that link first and then contact Laurie. So let's do this. What time do we have here, ladies? 9.40, okay. Okay, we're gonna do this first. It's time to introduce yourself. I'm gonna do a little bit of a roll call by school. So I want you to tell me your name and one thing you'd like for us to know and we'll do it in 60 seconds. At about 10 o'clock, we will take a break. Um, and then if we have not finished all of our introductions, we'll come back and we will continue. So I would like to see more Norman Technology Center. If you will unmute your mic and introduce yourself and a little bit about you within 60 seconds, please. Is Reagan here? Christy? Yes. She's having, she's having a hard time getting logged on. I sent her the link again. Okay, well, we will move on then. Norman High School. That's me. Hey. Hi, my name is Holly Austin. Um, this is my first year teaching marketing. I actually taught English last year, um, so I'm making quite a switch. Um, trying to think of something I would like for people to know. Um, I spent two years in corporate. I did data analytics, so I actually did IT type work. Um, and then I decided didn't really like corporate world. Um, so I switched to education and I'm liking it a lot better. Um, and I'm teaching marketing and management this year. Thanks, Holly. Salisaw. I'm Brandy Bennett. Um, I've been teaching for seven years. I also came in from the corporate world from human resources and switched to education, which allowed me to have more time with my kids. Good deal. Welcome. 
Oklahoma City, John Marshall. Hi, good morning, Mitch Brindley, John Marshall High School. Um, I have been in the corporate world for about 15 years, taught for about 15 years when my kids were in school, and was only going to do it for a couple of years while I was with them. And 15 years later, here I am, still in it. Um, and I do uh, fundamentals of technology, banking, admin. Great. Welcome. How High School. I'm, I'm from John Marshall Middle School. I don't know. Oh, hey. <laughs> Good morning, my name is LaDonna Miller, and I, um, this is my third year, beginning my third year teaching. I came from owning my own business and also working for the state as a senior project manager. Um, I taught college business courses for several years. Um, I made a career change because again, just like uh, Mr. Brindley said, I wanted to be home with my daughter more and uh, this is something that I like to do. I'm just glad for the opportunity to be able to do it. Something that I've done, you know, for years. So thanks. Well, I'm glad you're here. And I'm sorry, I had written the wrong school next to your name. So you would have been <laughs> called later. So well, <laughs> thanks for putting up with me. That's all right. I understand. I'm new to it. <laughs> okay. So how high school? Uh, that would be me, uh, Brett Casey. This will be my first year in the classroom. Uh, like many of you, it sounds like I uh, have come from the corporate world, uh, been with Camping World and Finance for the last seven years as their finance director. Uh, and again, this will be my first year in the classroom. Excited about it. Looking forward to it. Well, welcome. Thomas Thank Faye Kester High School. Broke up on me. Are you on me, Fatkin? Yes. Okay. Uh, Sorry, the, the, the one time the audio glitches in that one second where you said my name. So, uh, <coughs> David Fatkin, Thomas, first name. Um, I'm at Moore High School. I kind of came out of a combination of construction management and business development for architects, general contractors, built a gob of houses, and <coughs> hit an age in a medical event where I decided whatever I had left in the tank, I was going to try to pass on to the generations behind me. And uh, so I started. Teaching, I uh, did a special ed gig at Southmore for a year, and last year started at Moore in, uh, in the marketing department, and uh, very much like it. Um, the kids aren't all the terrors that they're painted out to be every day by everybody outside of it, and uh, it's, it's enjoyable, and uh, it will probably, you guys will have to, somebody will have to run me off, because I have no ambitions to leave it anytime soon. That sounds fantastic. Welcome. Thanks. Ada High School. Hi, I'm Ginger McClure. Good morning. I have um, returned to the classroom. I have 24 years of experience or years in education and I left the classroom nine, ten, nine years ago and came back last year to the classroom. I did some other things. I was an Indian education director for six years and I worked at East Central University for a year and also went into industry and worked at Mercy Hospital for two years. So I came back last year in August. So I'm attending new teacher conference again uh, now, but I did teach last year. So I had to deal with a little bit of distance learning things last year as well. And I hear you have a coworker. Yes. Also joining us. Jamie Weston, also from Ada High School. This is my 13th year teaching, but my first year in career tech. I taught um, college comp classes for five years before moving over to public school. And my past life before teaching, I did graphic design and commercial production for an advertising company. Awesome. Welcome. Um, now, I told everybody that our break was at 10, but as you can see on the agenda that I have not apparently been paying attention to, our break is not till 1030, so you're stuck with me for another, say, 45 minutes. Sorry about that. Um, Agra High School. Hi, I'm Angela Smith. I have, uh, I've been teaching facts for the last six years at Agra, at Agra High School. And 
uh, this year I'm going to be teaching a half day uh, business and a half day facts. Welcome. Welcome. Autry Tech. Hi, I'm Jacob Robertson. This is my first year teaching. I have five years experience in the industry, uh, three years at a pig farm doing IT work. So that's all I got to say. Well, welcome. We're, we're glad you're here. Chelsea Middle School. Good morning. Uh, my name is Bob Schott. I've been teaching 15 for this is my 15th year. First year with Career Tech and the Be My stuff. And I'm really looking forward to a great year. Great. Comanche High School. Do we have Comanche here? I could have sworn I saw Jerry's name in the chat. Well, we will move along. How, How about, about, can you hear me now? Yes, yeah, welcome. So this is my first year to teach um, in the BMIC program and I'm excited. I've been teaching school for a really long time, 31 years, but um, I'm taking on a new challenge and looking forward to learning everything. Great. Well, we're looking forward to working with you. Crooked Oak. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Aaron Robertson. I'm starting my 16th year of teaching business, uh, fundamentals of tech. I uh, spent the last two, three years doing uh, Odyssey Wear and starting a new school district and uh, Career tech now, I guess I'll have to get that done and get it going. So that's good morning. Perfect. Good morning to you. Duncan High School. No one from Duncan? Edmund Santa Fe? My name is Bill Nye and I'm at Edmonds Santa Fe. I'll be teaching uh, fundamentals of technology. I have spent uh, two years in Oklahoma City teaching middle school tech ed and happy to be in Edmonds. Okay, what about Hera? Hello, um, I am Kelly Miller from Hera. I am going into my third year of teaching fun of tech at Hera. This is my first year to be involved in this program, so looking forward to what it brings. I believe we have Chrissy Hansen from Hera as well, and this is her first year teaching and being part of the program. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us. Chrissy, are you around? Okay, well, we will move along. See, can oh. you hear me? Oh, yes, yeah, now I can hear you. Hi, I'm like she says, my first year, um, new to business tech, and I'm just excited to be here and learn as much as I can and have a good year. Great, welcome to Be Minds. How about Holbert? Good morning, my name is Katie June. I'm at Hulbert High School. I'm excited to start my second year teaching there and I'm hoping for less distance learning this year. So, we'll see. Understandable. How about Mid-America Tech? Uh, yeah, I'm Carl Walls, former Career Tech student. Uh, taught a career tech program at a high school, but then left for about seven years to go do marketing work for a couple different OSU campuses. So we'll start back in February. Well, welcome back. How about more Southmore? Hello, Lisa Roberts from Southmore. This is my second year at Southmore, but I've came from the corporate world and I also taught at the college level for about 10 years, mainly distance learning on the college level. So I 
didn't have a huge learning curve in the spring. I was thankful for that, but I don't want to do that this fall. So we're wearing masks and I want everyone to wear a mask that comes in our school because I want to stay there the whole year because <laughs> I miss my kids. Oh, I know. It's, that's, it's the hardest part, isn't it? Not being able yes. to be right there with them. Yes. Who else do we have from Southmore today? Uh, I haven't seen anyone else from Southmore. Oh, oh, there's Billy. All right, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of had everything muted because I'm dog sitting today and his name is Ruckus. And let me tell you, he lives up to this name right now. Oh, that's great. Uh, but I am not necessarily new to Southmore, uh, but I am new to BMITE and I am totally looking forward to it. I've taught education, I taught education, I've taught technology for years upon years at various levels. So looking forward to a good year. Well, welcome and tell Ruckus we said hello. Oh, they said hello. <laughs> I just want to say something real quick. He's new to Southmore. We've never met, so this is the first time I've seen Mr. Garner. So, hi. <laughs> How you doing, boss? Hey. <laughs> to be oh, able I'm to the new uh, department chair, so don't call me boss. Just call me, pray for me, okay? <laughs> yeah, congratulations, Lisa. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So, are we doing all of more? Well, how about you just go for it, Wes? Okay, I'm Wes Moore at Westmore High School. Uh, one thing I guess new about me is I got a newborn baby. His name is Luca. He was born uh, May 18th, so he's a COVID baby. Congratulations! Uh, thank you. Uh, this is my sixth year teaching, my third year career tech. So, well, we're glad and you're I'll be. And I'll be doing multimedia and then imaging something. I forgot what the whole title is called, but it's the next step up for multimedia. I gotcha. All right. Well, let's see who else we have from Moore. How about more Westmore? Who's from Westmore? Who else is from Westmore today? Hi, my name is Dustin Finn. And this is my, I think, seventh year teaching. Uh, I teach um, business and technology classes. I think I've taught about every scenario of business and technology. Uh, this is my second year in uh, career tech. So, you know, this year, expecting it to be a lot smoother and a lot better. So, uh, excited for this year to start up. Perfect. Thanks for joining us today. It looks like we have another person from Westmore here. Maybe. Hi, uh, my name is Greg Lynn from Westmore. Uh, I'll be teaching uh, the fundamentals of technology, and this is actually going to be my first year teaching. All right, well, welcome. And. Did Reagan ever, was she ever able to get logged in? No, okay. How about Oklahoma City class in? Uh, good morning, uh, this is Charles Underwood. This is actually my second year with Kirtec and my sixth year teaching and I'll be teaching fundamentals of technology. Okay, great. Hello, this is Cindy Newman. I'm at class in middle school. This is um, my second year teaching. I started last year towards the end of the first quarter. Um, so I've been just kind of learning as I go, that's for sure. And I'm excited about this year starting out at the very beginning of the year. Nice awesome. to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Glad you're joining us. Okay, I think I saw Reagan joining us. We're going to put her on this, or I think it's her, put her on the spot. Reagan, if you're there, if you will introduce yourself, tell us where you're from. Yes, sorry, I was on mute. Sorry, I'm joining the late, but um, yes, my name is Reagan Anthony. I work for More Norman Technology Center. I actually started last September-ish. Um, so I was able to attend the two follow-up new teacher academies, but I didn't get to attend this uh, event last summer. So kind of doing everything in a backwards order. But um, 
I've really enjoyed my first year, even though it was kind of strange and different. <laughs> we'll have stories. I'll have stories to tell about my first year as an instructor. Um, I teach, it was database administration. Um, I worked for Oracle before, uh, uh, but the program's changing to actually uh, data science foundations. So also spent my first year updating curriculum and changing all that and um, looking forward to teaching. Uh, kind of something more up to date and modern. <laughs> so it should be fun, whether it's online or in person. Right. Well, we're glad you're here. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Okay, so let's get back to our Oklahoma City Schools. I have someone from Emerson North. Yes, this is Twyla. I'm from Emerson North. I've been in education about nine years. I come from the facts department. Well, welcome. We're glad you're here. How about Northwest Classen? Hi, my name is Matt Ross, and I've actually taught math for 10 years, and I got super interested in creating videos and video production, things like that, so um, went down that certification route, and this will be my second year teaching uh, digital media production. Awesome. Good to see you again. I think the first time we met was at Oklahoma Summit. In yeah, I, I was lost and helping me find my way. <laughs> yes. And that's okay, because I get lost there too, still. Okay, what about Putnam Heights Academy? Hello, my name is Thomas Nail. Um, I come from the corporate world. I was the rental training coordinator for Caterpillar uh, for the state of Oklahoma and Texas. Um, and I did eight years in the military as well, a couple of deployments. And fun, fun facts, my wife and I actually had COVID-19 over the summer. Oh man, well I'm, I'm glad to see you sitting here healthy. Thank you for your service and we're glad you're joining us. Thank you. What about Roosevelt Middle School? Hi, my name is Gina Johnson and this will be my second year uh, teaching and at Roosevelt. I come from corporate background as well um, in cost accounting and regular financial accounting for 20 years and just uh, wanted to get out of that rigorous schedule that uh, most corporate accountants work and found this and decided, uh, realized how much I love it. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm gonna teach business foundations this year. And I think, um, is it compu uh, computer discovery, discovery something? What is it that we added? I can't remember. CS, computer science discoveries? Yes. Awesome, that's exciting. Well, thanks for joining us. Pahaska. Good morning, my name's Casey Walker. I am a first year teacher. I actually just got approved as a board meeting last week. So I'm trying to get caught up. Um, I spent three years working actually for the Pioneer Woman Mercantile in different sectors in the office throughout the warehouse, things like that. And then I got to be a stay at home mom for a little bit. So I'm really, really excited to get in the classroom. Very good, well, welcome. How about Perkins Tryon? Hi, I'm Nicole Sterner. Um, uh, this will be my first year at Perkins and my first year uh, teaching BMIC. Uh, I've been teaching for 20 years. Prior to this, I taught history uh, I've taught everything from seventh grade geography all the way up to um, AP US history. Um, so, and I'm outside because it's nice in July for once in Oklahoma. So if the rain comes through, I may be making a mad dash into my house. <laughs> well, we're all envious of the sunshine or the, the cooler temperatures. Ponca City. Hi, my name is Mina Gowdy, and this is my 16th year to teach in Career Tech. Uh, I'm two, I am from a uh, corporate. I uh, taught, uh, I was a computer analyst before leaving um, industry and uh, going into the teaching field. This is my second time to teach in Oklahoma. I did uh, nine years at the high school, and now I'm gonna teach at the middle school. I did six years. Uh, started a career academy in Mississippi and last December our career academy uh, received a national recognition 
We were the first digital media academy in Mississippi and the third career academy in Mississippi. So uh, I'm going to teach fundamentals. So I'm looking forward to uh, doing something different with it as well. Well, welcome back. Thank you. And it looks like you have a coworker that's Mr. joining us as well today. Hey, yeah, I'm Steve Parr, uh, teach at the high school of Ponca City. I uh, came from the corporate world also as a project manager and I'm going to be teaching desktop publishing this year. Awesome. Welcome. Rock Creek, are you in the house? Hi, my name's Ramona Hughes. Um, I'm coming from the corporate world. I worked in mortgages for six years. And can you hear me? Yes. Okay, okay, good. And I stayed home with my girls for eight years and I am a first year teacher this year. Well, that's exciting. And welcome. Thank you. Okay, we have Thomas Faye Custer High School. Are you here? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna slowly move on to the next school. Christy, she's trying to get logged in. Oh, she is, okay. Well, I will move on and when we see her, if, some, if I don't notice, if somebody will let me know. So let's go to Tulsa. How about Booker T. Washington? Yes, I'm Tracy Coons and I taught, um, math and computer science in high school for 10 years. And then I worked for the state and the district. I developed distance learning courses for the state of Oklahoma. And then I worked in teacher training for a while. And then I went to the communications department and managed the website and did some photography and various other things there. Then I worked in IT for a while and now I'm back teaching. And for the first time in career tech, teaching photography. And I think it's because they saw my photographs for about 10 years. And so I'm excited to get into this new phase. Well, knowing that you were part of IT, I'm sure that they will probably have you working on that too. Is yeah, that that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's kind of how it goes. Um, Tulsa East Central Junior High. There. Name's Jesse Medaffrey. I come out of corporate with John Deere, uh, agriculture, not, uh, not industry. Um, Work, worked there for 20 years, uh, sold the farm in South Texas, uh, got here to Oklahoma in 97, driven a school bus since then, and a long-term substituted. And last year decided to go ahead and certify, and I did that, and I was a mid-year hire at East Central Junior High. Uh, got to visit Jackie. She probably screamed and hollered, but uh, she got me through that first, the first nine weeks, and then the second nine weeks on uh, virtual and I'm I'm back at East Central teaching uh, business foundations and fundamentals of technology. Fantastic. Well welcome to back to the great state of Oklahoma, I guess, or to the great state. Actually born and raised in Texas. Uh oh. So, uh -oh. Working my way back, but <laughs> just got delayed here in Tulsa for a while. I am I am still uh, mechanicing also. I, I'm a self employed mechanic. Well, awesome. That's, that's great. Okay. And I see that our teacher from Thomas Bay Kester has arrived. So I'm going to put you on the spot, Thomas Bay Kester High School. Will you please introduce yourself? Hey, um, sorry. I just had kids come in for a basketball camp. Uh, I'm Christy Eister. Um, one thing I'd like for us to know Oh, so last year was my very first year teaching and doing your book and career tech. And it went a little downhill around March. It went a little crazy. So I think you are not alone in that fact. Hopefully this year's better. That's well, welcome. And I love to talk your book. I used to teach that too. So anytime you want to chat your book, you call me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll move on to our Tulsa schools. Tulsa Hale, where are you? Nathan Hale? Sure, yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, my name is Orlando Vargas. I'm a second year teacher. I teach uh, fundamentals of technology. I came from a background in IT. I was an IT consultant for many, many years. And uh, I try this experience. I have substituted like for six years. And after that, I got my, my certificates and now I'm teaching. I'm, I love my experience uh, teaching. It's just very nice. Good. Love well, my kids. We're glad you're here. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. How about Tulsa McLean? Good morning, friends. My name is Bill Martin. It's been fascinating to hear how many of us come from the business world. I ended a 26 year career in the corporate world as president of a corporation in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Uh, at that time, I went to seminary and I spent the next 26 years in ministry as an Episcopal priest. After retiring, I began teaching high school. Uh, this will be my third year to commute from prior to Tulsa McLean, where I teach fundamentals of technology. Also, customer assistance, which is largely psychology, uh, sociology. Yesterday was my 76th birthday. No presents, please. Uh, and I've never had more fun in my life. Well, that's great to hear. Happy late birthday. We're glad you're with us today. Okay, Tulsa Rogers, where, where are you? Okay, I'm gonna slowly move to Tulsa Technology Center. Hello, David Morris, Tulsa Technology Center. Teach uh, Windows Server Administration and did seven years managing an IT department for a um, local group of auto dealers and happy to be teaching second year, starting second year and just barely missed last year's New Teacher Academy. So here I am. Well, we're glad you made it. Thanks for joining us. Looks like we got another Tulsa technology person. Yes, I'm Bob Morton. I've been in the computer repair fields since 1979. So uh, 10 megabytes in those days took the people to lift, if that'll believe that or not. Uh, Bill saying, yeah, he knows. Um, <laughs> I have uh, just recently left uh, Tulsa Community College as an IT tech on campus but I also have 30 years uh, experience as an adjunct for, for Tulsa Community College. So, And so one thing you might like to know about me, I am from Massachusetts originally. And yes, I have parked my car in Hobbit Yard. So. <laughs> Thank you for that. That was much needed today. <laughs> okay, Western Heights, where are you? Western Heights here today. Okay, have I missed anyone? If I missed you, I need to know who you are and get you counted. Okay, does anyone have any questions for us right now? I mean, we're just kind of getting started. Do you have any questions or for each other? Christy, can I um, say one thing? Absolutely. If there's anyone here who has not set up their CTU account, ctu.org, um, you've gotten some emails, uh, get that done if you can and then email me and let me know and I'll, so that I can get you access in there for when you need it. So if you have not gotten your account on ctu.org yet, if you could do that and then let me know when you do. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. And yes, we're about to go to break here in a few minutes. That would be the perfect oh. time. Yes. If you could send me, I have looked for that agenda and I couldn't find it. If you can send it to my email in the break, I would appreciate it very much. I got you, Orlando. I'll send it to you. Okay. A, Thank you very much. Okay. Hello. I have a question too. Yes. Since I was already a fax teacher and already have a CTU account. Will I use that same account for the BMITE also? 
She will, right? We will just add her access to our BMIT. I think so. Um, I should be able to find you. Have I? Oh, let me, I'll check and see if I can find you in there, Angela. All right. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Yes, this is, this is Twyla. I'm in the same position. I can get, I can access it. I don't know if I'm set up with um, the Be My Area. So I don't know if I want it, if you want me to put that in the chat so you can remember to look for me. I'll check, Twyla, I can't remember. I feel like I've already given you access, so I think you're good, but I'll okay. double check that when I go in there. All right, thank right. you. Awesome, okay. Well, I am gonna go ahead and move on over to our break time. Nope, wrong way, sorry guys, told you. Here we are. Okay, so let's talk a minute about our National Geographic, our Cengage resources. Um, Brian Campbell was actually hoping to join us for a few minutes this morning, so, and I had given him an agenda, so it's possible that he will jump on here at the last minute, and that's okay. If he does, somebody yell at me and just tell me, ladies, because he wanted that link and wanted to know when. Um, National Geographic Cengage Resources, these, if you would, no, not if, we need to encourage you to create a single sign-on account. You can con contact Monica. This will give you access to a huge library of resources and not just for our division. So this, this opens it up for you for so many resources. Now, the person that you would be dealing with if you had different questions, that would be either Brian Campbell if you're north of I-40 or Chuck Majors if you're south of I-40. Um, typically, what will happen is at our, our conferences, Brian will kind of be hanging around and chat with you to see what your needs are. Unfortunately, Brian is in another conference today, so he wasn't able to for sure be with us. I know he wanted to jump in, so maybe he'll be here later. But definitely contact your person to find out what resources they can help you with. Um, Cengage is, has been great for us. Is there anything else, ladies, that I need to talk about before we go to break? Because we're going a little bit early. Christy? Christy? Oh, yes. Go ahead. I was just I gonna add that, um, you know, we, we realize the position that you're in. Not only are you new teachers, but you're new teachers to this really strange world that we're in right now. So there's so many questions and so many things that you have that, that I know a lot of you don't even know what questions to even ask at this point, and we understand that. So our, our hope in the next two days is that we can start chipping into some of those questions that you've had and give, giving you some resources and giving you some of that guidance. But um, the bottom line is we're all happy that you're here with us for the next couple of days, and we hope that you... Um, can live with this type of environment that we're having to present this in. Um, and we hope that you get a lot out of the next couple of days, but mainly just getting to know us and getting to know some of your colleagues and peers that are going through the same situation that you are too. So hopefully we'll get to those questions that you were addressing earlier with Marcy. We'll start answering some of those and the ones that we don't, we'll circle back around and try to figure out how, how we can get you those resources that you need. So. Thank you for being with us today. Yes, thank you guys. Jackie, did you have something you wanted to share? I did, I was gonna jump back to this National Geographic Cengage resources. You know, even if you do not choose to use them as your curriculum, um, if you sign in here, it makes a library for you to have uh, for resources. So. You know, maybe you want to look up something on one specific topic in multiple areas, um, and this allows you to do that. So even if you don't use them as your curriculum, it just gives you an opportunity to have a nice library. We have a question in the chat. Does Cengage sync with Canvas? That is a question I do not know. Does anyone else know that? Well, we will write that question down and we will absolutely ask Brian if, if when we go to the break, maybe we can get Brian on the phone. 
says it sync with canvas thank you for that so i have a quick there. question as well yeah go ahead um so i know oklahoma city is wanting to use the icev i c e v i believe for um for our curriculum but i know that in oklahoma city we have uh we have chrome pad uh, chrome pads and i think they're wanting to do maybe an alternate work schedule so i know it's going to be very heavily online for us um could i maybe who would i maybe talk to about maybe using um uh, Cengage as well to just in case as a backup just in case the icev doesn't work out for curriculum forgive me for not knowing oklahoma would he would he contact brian or would he contact chuck and chuck majors is the rep for the oklahoma city area okay thank you one of the other things too thomas that that you'll learn is that there are so many resources for every one of our courses and um, you're going to be we're going to be exposing you to a lot of those resources that you can use in addition to um, the Cengage resources and the ICEV, there's so many things that you can use to teach fundamentals of tech. And uh, you know, we've even got a course developed in our CTU that teachers can take and, and use some of those projects that are, that are embedded in, in that course. You have access to any of that for free. So um, you know, I think that's something that as, as we go along and we take a look at some of the syllabi, you're gonna notice that teachers have given us lots of resources for every one of our courses that we teach. They've just shared things that work for them. And those are the things that we add to the syllabus so that you can choose what works best for you in your situation. Okay, wonderful. Hopefully the training will answer some, some of my questions. Okay, we have, two, we have two more questions in the chat box. The first one is, can we download all the resources from Cengage? Okay, that answer is no they can go ahead and use them as far as um, you know resources and to learn about that but this is not so that they can circumvent purchasing from them it's just a way for them to go in and be able to see uh, what they have available uh, you know I have suggested in the past when a teacher is brand new and they still haven't received if they're getting textbooks or even the online version if they still haven't been signed up for that, then they can go ahead and go into the single sign-on and use that temporarily until they receive that. But as far as being able to download all their resources, no, that's not what it's intended for. Okay, and then we have um, just an FYI, Tulsa is requiring, is requiring Canvas with few exceptions. So, um, Tracy, is there, do you see that as um, a potential obstacle or? Well, I don't, I don't know if those exceptions might include career tech. I know that there are particular schools that have already been using different online platforms for their curriculum. And basically they've provided exceptions for those, but all the other schools they've said were using Canvas. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of teachers have traditionally used Google Classroom for a lot of their curriculum as well. So, but uh, they can get to that through Google, through Canvas as well. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I think my uh, school administration also knows that I was involved in uh, configuring Canvas for the district. So <laughs> I may get questions on that too. You know, we do not determine or tell you what type of learning management system you need to use. That is your choice. That's your school district's choice. Um, and we just try to support everything that we can. We do have CTU as our learning management system, but that's just so that we have a place to house everything, all of our curriculum, in case you're, you're, you're wanting to use that. You don't, I mean, some people do use CTU as their learning management system, but that certainly is not required. Okay. Uh, or, or Christy or Carrie, I don't know if you want to answer and um, speak to Wes's um, comment about you're going to learn a lot these two days and it might be overwhelming. That's absolutely true. It's going to be overwhelming. We know that from the beginning because there is so much information and there's so many resources out there that are available to you. 
But one thing to keep in mind that each one of you have a regional representative, a BMITE region representative assigned to your area, and we will be reaching out to you at the, at the first of school. So early on, normally it would be an on-site visit. We would come out, we would sit down with you, and we would just uh, take some time with you to ask what are your challenges, what are you, you know, what, what are some things that you're experiencing. We kind of have a list of things that we go through to ask you to make sure you know where everything is. But that's the main thing is, is um, for us to point you and, and get you uh, comfortable with accessing CTU to find all the resources. And we're gonna spend a lot of time on that over the next couple of days talking more about CPU and where you find specific resources. And that, but, but you're not gonna be able to remember everything we talk about over the next two days. We don't expect that. We just want you to kind of get that thought in your head and understand that yes, there is a resource there. And if you don't remember where it is, you just simply reach out and ask us and, and we, can, we can have the conversation with you one-on-one. -on -one. But it, it, we don't expect for you to learn everything over the next two days. It's going to take a while, and, and you know, I know Jackie is, is fond of saying it really takes about three years for you, for you to get really comfortable with what you're doing with Career Tech because it's kind of a constantly moving target. You get started that first year, and you're doing the rocking along, you're doing the best you can, and then you find out there's really a better way to do this because someone shared something with you. So, um, you know, you just keep modifying and keep changing and making it better and better and and, and by that third year, you're feeling pretty good usually about where you are and, and, and thankful at that point. Before that, you might be a little bit of the deer in the headlight look, you know. But um, I, I think that, I think we I hope anyway, that, that you find that we're, we're there to help you answer those questions as you go. Christy, if I can add to that, remember that we will be visiting you virtually. Um, individually within our region. So we will come out and basically when we do a visit for someone that's new to Career Tech, we go over just about everything that we're going to discuss today and tomorrow and on the third day, just as a refresher. And then that gives you an opportunity to ask questions individually if you're having specific concerns. Okay. Now, I did get a message from Brian, and he said he's going to join us just before we go to the break. So I'm hoping that means he's on his way. Um, does anybody else have any other questions? I can't see the chat box for some reason. I keep trying to pull it up, and it's not working. Um, just uh, someone is saying that there are 99% sure Cengage does integrate into Canvas. Uh, and here's Brian now. So. Brian. Are you there, Brian? I am here. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, we do have a question for you. I mean, you can go ahead and tell us everything you ever want us to know, and then we have a question. How's that? <laughs> you got it. Um, this is, I don't have any PowerPoint or any show to share with all of you. This is so weird to come from you digitally. I, I miss being there with every one of you. And uh, Christy, I appreciate you sharing me with the user list or the new teachers and everything because I was looking through there and there's a few of you I know. So uh, it was really, really good to see all of that. So, uh, but, uh, um, Welcome to our abnormal year. Uh, who knows what this is going to be like. Uh, uh, but I guess what I want to say uh, at National Geographic Learning Cengage, uh, uh, we're ready to help you however we can. Uh, we have, uh, uh, I, I think every one of the products that we provide for you has what we call uh, a digital platform that you can teach whether you're in the class or at a distance. And so um, uh, if you have questions and, and need help, uh, let us know. Uh, the main program that we have is MindTap. Uh, that's our digital program. Of course, we have uh, all of the uh, Shelley Cashman, the Illustrated series. We have your accounting solutions, uh, the office, uh, I think technologies and procedures, 
all of those come into MindTap platform, even our, our programming courses as well. And, and I know we sell a lot of that across the state. So uh, uh, all I can say is welcome. I know some of you are veteran teachers. Uh, I'm glad you're part of the career tech system. That's where I got my start and it still feels like home. Those offices are still home to me as well. Uh, I can't wait to go and visit them sometime. So uh, anyway, uh, please, uh, I know that my contact information is there. Chuck is our rep for Southern Oklahoma. So uh, that's a pretty good description. If you're south of by 40, call him or email him. If you're north, let me know. Um, it is a uh, always just, it, it's, I love it when I get to work with the people that I'm a part of. And, and uh, so please let me know how I can help. Monica is my uh, customer support assistance, I guess. Uh, she's up in our offices in Kentucky slash Cincinnati, and she'll be glad to help you any way she can. If she can't, she'll probably send you to me anyway. So with that said, welcome to your new year, whatever that may look like. Uh, we don't know yet, but I know it's gonna be changing. One thing I will say, a long time ago, when I was a state advisor for, back then it was FBLA, we went to a conference in, I think it was Chicago, and there was one of the speakers there, Marvin Cetron was his name, and he had a book called Schools of the Future, and the thing was, he said this, the, uh, or maybe it's called Classrooms of the Future, and he said the classroom of the future is always going to be in the future, and uh and I was thinking, you know, that is so appropriate these days and times. We don't know from one day to the next. You may start school in a classroom, and then the next day you may not be in that classroom. All I can say is I know what we have at Cengage Learning has a solution for every part of that, and we can help you with that. And uh, so give us a shot if you need to. Uh, give me a call. Those I know, give me an email and say hi. And then I so hope that before in a couple of days or so, or weeks or months, whatever, that we'll all be together in a classroom and, and this COVID-19 will be behind us. So uh, anyway, Christy, I'll turn it back to you. What was your question? Well, I think Matt answered because he has been in the classroom for, for a little bit. Someone had asked if it, if Cengage, I'm sorry, Cengage communicated, does it sync with Canvas? Yes. Okay. It is Great. one of our LMS partners. Uh, we, um, and we can do deep linking or LTI integration, whatever they want to call it, with Canvas, with Blackboard, with Moodle, uh, Schoology. Uh, I think there's another one or two, but the main ones, yes, we are, uh, we are definitely partners with them. And so we can uh, sync up with Canvas. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Now it is, we're just about a minute over from our break time. So we are going to let you take a break. I'm going to turn my camera off and my microphone. When you hear, keep your computers on, but you can also mute and hide. Um, mute and hide. That sounds like a turtle. Um, in five minutes before time to begin, you will hear the music start up, so you'll know to kind of round back up towards your computer. So thanks for joining us. Go take a little break, and we'll see you back here at 1045. Thank you, Christy. I'm so sorry I was not muted during that, and I'm typing. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. Um, I'm going to go and try to get, see who's in CTU and try to get the rest of them in, so. Perfect. Thank you. You guys are awesome. I miss you. <laughs> we miss you too, Brian. <laughs> Take care, Brian. Thank you for coming in. <laughs>